Good afternoon. Uh, I will be talking about the success of maternal health in Bangladesh and a bit about the contribution of research in that success. And as you can see, I brought notes to help me with because, you know, I need, I need the notes. Um, if you have been following the news lately, you'll see that the image of the country that we call Bangladesh in the global media is often overwhelmingly influenced by disasters, both human as well as natural. And I think that's the image that we all come to know Bangladesh of. But what was less discussed and understood is the amazing, almost paradoxical progress made by the country, particularly improving the lives of mothers and children. You know, we have achieved the MDG4 target uh, in terms of identified mortalities. In the 25 years, we have reduced unified mortality by over, almost close to 75%. Uh, there have been large reductions in maternal mortality. And currently, this year, we're planning to conduct a very large household survey, 300,000 plus, to, to provide us with a good estimate of where we, where, where we ended up in the MDG period and as provide a baseline for the SDG. Although um, the current UN estimates suggest that we did not achieve the MDG5 targets, our expectation is that <coughs> If you look back at the previous two surveys, between 2001 and 2010, you know, we had a 40% reduction, and that rate of reductions will be sustained, if, uh, has been sustained, and we are waiting to see what happens with this, uh, the survey that comes out, happens this year. This advance in maternal mortality in the country often does not conform with kind of global dogma. A key issue here is that this happened in spite of us not achieving high uh, coverage with a key intervention that is linked to maternal mortality, which is skilled attendance and deliveries. We have, there has been increases, but not to the level that we expected, and does not fully explain the reductions in maternal mortality. As a Bangladeshi, I witnessed rapid change in the country's demographic economy. economy. There has been a boom. Reductions in facility, economic changes has happening. We are matching growth rates with many, many, many countries at, at very fast levels. Uh, less mothers and children are malnourished. And fewer mothers are dying from childbirth. Fewer children are dying and surviving to their fifth birthday. What underlies these, uh, this advance, particularly with maternal mortality? It's a complex set of factors, particularly three factors. A key element has been the investments the country has made in female education. Over the years, our literacy rates are currently among women are skyrocketing, overtaking, especially among teenagers, those of bo boys. Fertility reductions has been enormous. We are close to replacement level fertility, even though we are still a very large country. 170, 160 to 170 million and is a result of, of the programs that we have done with family planning, uh, which have been very effective. And the increasing availability of health facilities providing obstetric services, even though there are real questions about the quality of services. The government's partnership with non-state actors, both NGOs and research institutes like ours, also have helped developing and scaling up of interventions and their incorporation into national policies. As a scientist, I have witnessed the important role of research and development of innovations and interventions and what they play in introducing mortality risks. Um, I come from Institute for Asia, which is over say 50 years old. Institutes like ours, which is one of the largest public health research hub in the global south, have been involved in these challenges at scale. You know, for as long as I remember, the work that I do has been closely followed and supported with the government health services who have been eager to implement these interventions and bring them to scale as soon as the evidence is there. So this partnership worked very well. And this has helped me focus on issues that are very relevant for the health of the people of Bangladesh. The respect that our work has, both inside and outside the country, the academic freedom that we have, and the close collaboration with the government has played a key role in acceptance of the evidence that we generate and that we discuss. It changes the level of discourse that we have in the country. 
I have seen firsthand the impact of interventions for maternal health in our rural civil site in Matlab, where we have had early learnings on fan planning, on maternal health, on unchild health, many of which have been scaled up nationally as well as outside the country. On the global scale, the evidence generated by researchers in the South has the potential to have an enormous impact. And, and we have seen that firsthand from our, from our own perspective. We have the benefit of local knowledge to develop interventions that are relevant, cost-effective, and scalable. The challenges that we aim are to, the challenges that we aim to solve are, are those that we have experienced firsthand. And one of the things that, that affects me personally very, very much is the reward. It's the reward that we see in terms of, of the impact of the work that we do. To, and we see that, that impact directly. The resilience and adaptability often required in low resource settings, such as in, in Bangladesh, also mean that we have to learn to quickly respond to changing sometimes very difficult environments. Now, <clears throat> some of the examples of the work, current work that we're doing in the country um, on improving maternal health include, it's a range of work, it's, it's, it's ranges from very upstream basic work to, uh, to implementation research, helping directly, work, helping with the government. For example, we are working on, on expanding, expanded use of the birthing kit with a, with, a, with, a, with a map that will trigger a response for, post, for, a response for postpartum hemorrhage in, in deliveries that are conducted at home. Uh, we are starting an evaluation of a thermal blanket designed to save the lives of preterm babies, especially if they are born at home. Um, we, have, we have ongoing health systems interventions to improve quality of care for maternal health services, improving information systems and measurements and operations research to, to that address specific issues with specific programs interventions. Now that we are at the dawn of a new era and we look forward to the SDG period, it is obvious that the role of research and development for health is more important than ever. We have shown in Bangladesh that it is possible to reduce maternal mortality through effective policy interventions based on evidence. And, 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 and the close collaborations, having institute like ours in the South, working in close collaborations with partners, government and non-government, has been is an excellent model that we would like to suggest that we all think forward to for other countries as well. Next week, the World Health Assembly in Geneva will be discussing the role that science, research and development are going to be playing in the next 15 years. And we want to make sure that new technologies to address public health challenges are relevant and scalable to those most vulnerable. Thank you.